This video is presented by the New York City Compost Project, hosted by Queens Botanical Garden. Today we'll be looking at ways to identify anaerobic conditions inside of a compost pile. First, we'll take a quick look at an aerated static pile where the conditions are primarily aerobic. We know this pile is primarily aerobic because temperature readings have shown temperatures of about 150 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the pile, including at the core. If we were to cut into this pile with a pitchfork, or in this case, a front-end loader, we see a fairly uniform texture and dark color to this compost. Lastly, we could tell this pile is aerobic from the smell as we handle it. It smells sweet and slightly earthy. Now we'll show you some photos and a video from a pile that's gone anaerobic. The pile that we're about to see was exposed to heavy rain for several days and was not turned for about a week. We look at three factors, color and texture, smell, and temperature to determine the conditions in the pile. Looking at the cross section of the pile, we observe that the texture and color of the material is divided into three strata. A core that's a lighter brown, a middle area that's speckled white, and an outside crust that's darker. The core, light brown in color, has had the least access to oxygen. It had a strong, unpleasant, and sour odor, indicating that it had gone anaerobic. The middle layer, which is speckled white with what looks like to be actinobacteria, smelled slightly sour. While the outside layer, which had the most access to oxygen, smelled fine, it actually smelled earthy and sweet. Digging deeper into the pile, we decided to place some temperature probes into the pile to record the temperature of the different strata. This photo, the light brown core of the pile, had a temperature reading of 116 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, a reading from the crust layer had an indicated temperature of about 134 degrees Fahrenheit. This is highly unusual, as in a healthy aerobic pile, the core should record the highest temperature. This discrepancy tells us that there's something strange going on. Through these observations, we're able to conclude that within the same pile, darker color, sweeter smell, and higher temperatures indicate aerobic conditions, while a lighter color, strong unpleasant odors, and lower temperatures are areas of anaerobic activity. Finally, looking at this pile on video, you can more clearly see the different strata of conditions inside the pile. As we scan the pile, we move the temperature probes to different strata. Watch carefully as the temperature for the core is recorded. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, go to queensbotanical.org slash farm and compost. Happy composting.